Hi folks, um, I'm here with my friend Graham Whiteman here. Um, so we're going to do a little interview with Graham and he's going to show us some of the things that um, he's been doing recently. I hope you'll find it interesting. Um, so I've known Graham for over 20 years. Yeah. Um, and we've got a lot of history, as you might imagine. Um, he's a good lad. And he... <laughs> I'm, he I'm 45. He's 45. Yeah, but yeah. I'm a good lad. He's a good lad. Um, and he is married to Charlotte and has eight kids. So he's doing better than us. We've only got the six. Yeah. Um, they're here for the day. Um, and I thought we'd take this opportunity just to show you some of the things that um, Graham is doing. Um, so first question for Graham. Um, what is Don't Walk in the Dark? Yes. What is Don't Walk in the Dark? Thank you, Nathan. We've travelled over today. And Nathan gave me an opportunity to sit in his studio um, with our slippers on and talk about my latest project, which the Lord has led us into. And it's called Don't Walk in the Dark. I don't know if you can see on the back of that. Um, and it's a phrase the Lord gave us a number of years ago. And essentially, it's, it's a project that encourages people to get into the Bible. My heart really is that we encourage individuals, families and groups and even churches um, to get in, get into the Bible. My testimony really is that the Lord has shown me real treasures in his word and some very exciting adventures. And I really wanted to share them with people. And the Lord's given us an opportunity just using this project called Don't Walk in the Dark to, um, to do that. Great. Yes. And um, how can Don't Walk in the Dark bless our, our friends here? On the other okay, side of the so door. <laughs> well, what it is? So we have numerous, pro well, I hate to call them products, but we have developed over the last few months um, little books. There's a few little books here. This one's called "I Will Fear No Weevil," which is a little book all about um, our fears and that God has our times in His hands. Um, there's another project here called nights around the table that we're working on which is a i call it a bible challenge it's about getting into the word with your family um on a daily basis what i really want to use this opportunity to do is that once a month we are producing an email in the same way that nathan sends a song out once a month we send a like what i'm calling a bible cartoon this is called um, big wave school and it's just a challenge really to to know that the Lord has all our afflictions and our trials within his boundaries that's available on our website which is if you follow the links below and if you were to click on the link below you would meet this guy his name is is Baz Baz Everyman I've got a, a slightly larger picture of him here and He's our latest um, offering, and if you were to click on the link below, you would receive this particular cartoon, which is the first of four, into your inbox. And it's just about the trials of a man called Baz Everyman, and just how he struggles with his own self-life, really. So that's that. I'd very much like it if you could click and subscribe to our email, just to begin to support only in just in just growing of awareness really for for what we're doing in Don't Walk in the Dark. Mm, yeah, and I, I really liked this one, I will fear no weevil. Um, so really good. And actually, um, Seth, Seth's here, you liked this one, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, you like that. Um, really good. Picked that up and read it, it's very good. But also, um, his, Graham's very generously had some mugs made, and I don't know if you can see that, that's supposed to be me. Um, Nathan has got himself a very easy to draw haircut these days, <laughs> so um, we have yeah, a few so of these which we have yeah. produced. Um, so we might have an opportunity to, um, uh, for you to get hold of some of those at some point in the future. But um, thanks for coming, Graham. It's really lovely to see the, what you're doing. Thank you. And um, I hope it's going to be interesting for, for you guys. Um, so what can anyone who's interested in interested do to support your ministry and what you're doing well at the moment it's just raising awareness and that, there, that we are in the middle of a project which is encouraging whether it's your children 
or you as a family or your small group just to put the word of God centrally in your life. Um, so what I really like is if you could just find the link below that will take you to a page of our website and if you can follow the links and subscribe that'll be our way of just building a, a newsletter community which will just raise awareness really at the moment of what the project Don't Walk in the Dark is all about. Mm. So Don't Walk in the Dark, get into the Word of God and these <coughs> books can really help. I mean um, if you leave one of these lying around in your house, your kids will pick it up and there's a lot of good Bible content in there um, and produced and presented in, in a fun and engaging way. So they're really useful for your home life, for church life. And do have a look and um, he's a great guy, I can attest to that. I've known him over 20 years um, and we're still friends, so yeah. that's good. Yes. And um, so thanks for coming on, Graham. Thank you, Nathan. And Thank you, Seth. Um, hopefully we'll have a new song out in the next couple of weeks. I'm working on it. Um, so um, please stay tuned and um, yeah, God bless you. And I'll have a new cartoon out next week. So please click below. Yes, link in the description to um, Don't Walk in the Dark slash Big Rock. You'll see the Big Rock, yeah, the Big yeah. Rock. Which should all make rock. sense when you click. Yeah. God bless Thanks you. Thanks very much. Bye. Okay, let's do it. Hello folks. Um, <laughs> um, I'll get it. Sorry. Hello folks, welcome to Nathan's latest video. He's um, got the nerves, so I'll pass it back to him again. <laughs> I was say, okay. All right. Let's start again. Yeah, let's start again. Treasures in his word. Do I look at you or look at the camera when I speak? Both. Either one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, he's a great guy, I can attest to that. I've known him 